All right. Phil collected data from several of his friends about the number of hours they spent sleeping and the number of hours they spent playing video games on Saturday. He recorded the data in the scatter plot. And here's our scatter plot. The number um, of hours of video games and the hours of sleep. Okay, so then we want to know, based on the scatter plot, what's the best prediction of the number of hours one of Philip's friends spends sleeping when the friend spends one hour playing video games? All right, and the way you do a scatter plot is you have to draw your line of best fit. All right, so remember if you put like your pencil down on the dots, you want to cover up most of the dots. That's where your line's going to be. Okay, you want about half the lines above and about half the lines below. So you're gonna have reference material and you can use that to help you draw your lines. So I want about half the dots above and about half the dots below. And I'm gonna draw my line of best fit. You need to use a straight edge to do this. When you just eyeball it or just freehand it, you get it, um, you don't get it correct. All right, so we have, let's see, when this friend spends one hour playing video games. So the hour of video games is right here, and at one hour, here's one hour, where's that line gonna cross that one hour? Well, that's at number nine here, nine hours of sleep. Okay, nine hours of sleep is the answer choice F. All right, and most of you that, most of you for your wrong answer pick 10 hours, okay, which is just one hour away. It's right there really close. And if you were just kind of eyeballing this or you didn't really draw the line, you might get the 10 hours, but you have to be very specific and draw your line so that you get the correct answer.